morning guys it's Friday and I've woken up with a rash and it's all over my face as well I've managed to cover it with makeup but I don't really want to put loads of makeup on the neck bit if I could avoid it so I don't know what that is god knows body is falling apart um so today going to London my friend Becky who um, actually suffers from ME and has helped me so much over the years with just little tips and just knowing that she's there if I need any advice or anything it's just not it's a comfort to know and she has dealt with a lot more than I've had to deal with and is still an incredibly strong cool beautiful woman and that is inspiring to me and reminds me that you know I'm very lucky and we can still achieve things even if we're feeling pretty grim a lot of the time anyway she's putting on an event um to do with underwear so today i might get to try on some really beautiful underwear maybe feel a bit sexy and i think we get to take some home as well which is nice i don't have any underwear that fits at the moment i don't know what's happened but in the last year or so i've completely lost my bust it used to be double d fairly big and now oh, it feels like I've got nothing left, so it'd be nice to have something that fits and can lift what I've got left. <laughs> and then after that, I've got a screening in the evening, so a lovely, busy, but lovely day. Right, time to go. I've just got on something comfy today because I'm going to be out all day, so just a, a stripy, very stretchy jersey, um, uh, the Masoma necklace, my ASOS Farley jeans, and some animal print booties <laughs> thought I'd just show you some of the brands that I've been looking at today so this one is Brevard oh hi <laughs> look who it is it's your stuff oh probably oh, hi <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have to pass in. She's here. We met, finally. Oh my god, that should be years. Nice. It probably has been years. Yeah, it's been a long time. And we've like, always been in like, the same place, but we never met. Yeah. So here we are. It's finally yeah. happened, and our Thank lives you, have Becky. been changed. Great <laughs> 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 Are you going to join me on the vlog? Shall we? Restart. Oh, okay. We're going to move it. So this is Sainted Sisters. What, what can we say about Sainted Sisters? Um, it's three damn badass. Could you like, imagine waking up in Hollywood Mansion? Oh, pick out your favourite. Oh, I like red though. Oh, Very get out a raunchy red then. <laughs> oh, look at that. On brand. Ooh. What's your favourite? I like the long black gown yeah. thing. Where was that? That is pretty incredible. That's nice. And the one that was like the jackety thing. The like, kimono. Yes. One. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I wear that to just like, look at me. You could though, like a kimono with jeans and a strappy oh. underneath. I never enough for that. Yeah. <laughs> and then look, there's Dita behind there. Oh my goodness. Looking sexy as normal. And her range is actually really lovely. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, oh, we can't, we can't right now. Oh, food. <laughs> and then look at this, guys. Look at this. It looks like leather, but it's not leather. And then over here, this is really raunchy stuff, but very affordable, very which is what we like. Oh, okay, yeah. That's so affordable. Yeah. Wait, how much? That's £12. Pounds. I what? know. I know, it's really affordable. Oh my god. I get that in my basket. I really like this bra here. Because look yeah, at the back, like a Hervé Leisure yeah, I'm dress. Looking at that. Look at that. It just looks like it would be really supportive. It reminds me of the bandage dress, the gold or is exactly. it? Exactly. That's the one. <laughs> god. Oh. Oh, look at that, see? Yeah, that's very pretty. <laughs> I just feel like I feel quite special in that. I know. That's, that's... special already. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, you. <laughs> this is my overall favourite brand from the whole day. Look at these colour combinations. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. And then what you need to see is this detail. Look at that. How special is that? And what I love is these colours are so unexpected, but they work so beautifully together. And I'm home. Oh my goodness. I've had a really lovely day, but boy am I tired.
<laughs> I think I'll talk about it all a bit more tomorrow. I just need to get to bed. But a good day. Happy Soph. Um, yeah, what's up with my neck? Oh, God, that's a bulging vein. That's not good, is it? Right, before I bring myself out, I'm going to bed. See you in the morning and we'll catch up then. Morning, so I finished my tax return. Well, I hope I've, I've submitted it and I've done it as accurately as I can. I've been honest, so hopefully all is well. Fingers crossed. Scary though, isn't it? Um, I've been working on a commission today, which I'm always a bit worried about taking on commissions because with commissions you suddenly have a pressure that you don't have when you just make art for yourself. You've got to please the people that have commissioned it and hope that they think it's worth the money. And this one's actually fairly difficult. And this is actually why I gave up art before because I didn't like the stress of it, but New Year, face up to your fears and stuff. So giving it another go. It's lunchtime now. So I decided to make another meal involving lentils and beans and stuff. And I just can't handle another vegan meal of windy making ingredients. So I'm going to go for um, the Linda McCartney pies and some mash and some, I think I'll make some gravy to go with it. Just some, I'm being cheap today, cheap mash. So you're making a Sunday roast? No, I'm not. How is a pie Sunday roast? So you just want to get in the vlog, did you? Uh, have your, have your uh, I didn't read it. <laughs> oh, really? Just talk to yourself. Talk like I usually do. So we've worked out as Saeed since lunch that his vice, his addiction, is hot sauce. He literally now puts it on every dinner, even like he's got two varieties here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> At and this happens. But he can't, he can't not, he can't have a meal without it. It's an addiction, right? But guys, are there any of you out there that have like put hot sauce or like spice to the point that it hurts, but you still do it? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? It's We're, weird, but humans are weird. We've all got our little weird quirks, haven't we? Oh, look at you! <laughs> the eagle has landed again. <laughs> This is really hot, this one. Which one's that? This is called Bloody. Bloody, Bloody Hell Hot Sauce and it's in a skull glass. And then it's also from America, it's got like a smoky hot sauce called Cap <laughs> Deal. <laughs> nice accent. <but. laughs> it's like a smoky kind of nice, no not, not too hot, probably like a medium hot sauce. But that's medium for you. You've yeah, got it's, 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 it's good flavour. Oh, by the way, I wasn't allowed to have the pies because apparently I've got to save that for a night when he can join me for a pie. Yeah. So I've had to have some corn nuggets instead, which wasn't what I fancied at all, but I'm a good girlfriend, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look who's at the door. He's so funny and adorable, obviously. Are you the cutest cat ever, Roundtree? Are you? Definitely purring a lot, aren't you? Pleased to be here. <laughs> Such a softie, aren't you? Morning, so it's Saturday. Um, so I didn't get home till 7am this morning and I woke up in a panic because I saw that he wasn't back and I didn't have a message on my phone saying where he was but he'd fallen asleep on his friend's fab sofa, um, probably full of beer I imagine. <laughs> anyway, all is okay, so I is still with us. Um, we decided because we don't often have a whole day to ourselves these days. Um, and we feel like we've done enough work this week, so we thought, let's do something different. And I'd spoken to someone at the underwear event about New Forest, so I thought, why don't we go to New Forest today? See if we can find some wild ponies and explore a new, new landscape, environment, something like that. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing today. My bags are taking over the world, but I'm learning as I get older, it's better to not wear too much makeup to try and counteract it because you end up just looking even older and even more haggard. 
So these days I'm trying to do a lighter approach with makeup. As you can see, I've got no eyeliner on, no eyeshadow, just mascara and foundation and something on my cheeks and that's it. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but anyway. People are looking at me weird. I'm in a petrol station. I'm going to go. Found this little donkey having a little scratch on the tree. It's really cute. <laughs> Aww, that's cute. Oh, Ty, <laughs> you made a friend. <laughs> He's gorgeous, isn't he? I'll scratch it for <laughs> Yeah, we'll help you, buddy. Slightly worried for size safety right now, but he's going for it. You're being watched by one of the others. <laughs> Aww. So cute! Aren't you lovely? Aww. You're lovely. You're lovely. Yeah, I don't think he's my biggest fan, is he? <laughs> Okay, so we've had a bit of a disaster. Size so fell in what I guess just a cesspit. It is like it sm oh. smells like it smells like pure eggs. And that's not him falling over. That's how deep he went. I went up to here. Oh my god, that was I, that was terrifying. That was like quicksand. Oh my god, you just like disappeared in front of my eyes. I don't know what to do. We just need to get you. We need to get back in the car now. Oh my god. I think a little while ago you were moaning about getting muddy shoes. Well, like I said, mate, take them off when you get in the car, put them in the boot. And we will, um, I will have to, we have to go into town, see if there's anywhere that we can just get you some like simple joggers or something. Bloody hell. Bloody Laura. <laughs> oh God. She's on you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're laughing about this. I was scared for my life. Oh my God. I mean, it could have been you. I, that would have got up to my neck. I wouldn't have got out. I don't think I would have been able to get out. Bloody hell. I'm right in <laughs> Oh, God. And now we're a little bit worried that we're now surrounded by water and we're trapped. Oh, dear God. Babe, I think we've got to concentrate on getting out rather than following this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're currently deciding what the best course of action is because obviously we're very far from home. We have planned to go out for dinner after this walk and so si is now in a, let's just call them mud traps. It's starting to kind of crack. <laughs> They're starting to get to the, so we're deciding whether we're going to find a near town and I've got to nip in and find him some trousers um, and he's gonna to have to drive in his boxes <laughs> oh god what we're in another cesspit yeah don't fall down another hole though please it reminded me of that i don't know if you've seen that vicar of dibley episode where dawn french falls down that hole it was like that but scarier because there's only me there to rescue Sai. <laughs> oh, good routing, Sai. Really good. This is possibly the muddiest walk I've ever <laughs> I didn't even think it was going to be a muddy walk, if I'm honest. Uh, Ow! Don't touch the thorns for balance, just, just a tip. I'm just following all like, the footprints. All the footprints are leaving. The thing yeah. is, we can go down there, but there's no footprints. I'm pretty sure that you're following horse footprints as well. <laughs> I'm going to put this away, it's asking for... Um, guys, look at this. 
careful Cy, I could just see that giving way and you falling down. Simon! Oh, oh, yeah. I thought I was going dizzy for a second. I'm going to have no sympathy if you fall down again now. Don't prod the holes. That's what she said. <laughs> finally got home and then we had to clean size jeans and it took like three four washes to get all the mud out it was completely caked and by that point it was like four something we hadn't eaten all day um so we went to the local turkish restaurant and had an amazing vegan feast of like um hummus um breads all sorts of lovely stuff um but yeah what a day but i think the lesson we learned was you just have to laugh sometimes. Sometimes things don't pan out, but if you see the humour in them, then you can get through it and it's fine. And we'll look back on that and have a good giggle when we're older. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please leave me a comment below. I'm loving hearing from all of you again. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Probably a drier, less boggy vlog. Boggy blog, boggy vlog. Yeah. <laughs>